it's the end of the season now, so uh, it, you know we're just, just still trying to get everything together. We've we've actually gone on location uh, a couple times, and we're going out again on location um, next week, or yeah, next week, which is very rare for us, as you know. Like we're we're always here at, at this studio here in, in Burnaby, uh, British Columbia. So. Yeah, it's a little. It's a little. It's always a little kind of crazy towards the end of the year, especially this year because we're doing twenty episodes. Um, you know, the first two seasons was thirteen, and which was crazy enough, let me tell you. But uh, doing twenty now, it's it's uh, it's it's a whole different ball game over here. Uh, but very cool because being able to do twenty, um, the the story arcs that go through the whole season. There's these beautiful. Uh, story arcs that go right through from the beginning of the season to the end and there's things that we're dealing with in the sanctuary that uh, you know really come in and out of, of, of many of the shows throughout the season and and the way the, the deepening of the of the bonds between the characters in the show uh, is is much deeper because of because we have that time to, to do it in so it's it's uh, it's pretty exciting this is this is the the year where we've done more um, you know, less episodic stuff for Sanctuary. It's more like, you know, um, uh, you know, through lines throughout the season. And that's really cool. That's really cool to be able to see, you know, the adventures we're going on and, and the difficulties we deal with early on and the problems that keep coming up because of our actions early on in the season. And, and in fact, right now we're, uh, we're kind of shooting episode 19 and 20 together. So today we're, we're doing scenes from uh, the very last episode and it's just kind of interesting to see where it's all going and, and the, uh, the disasters that are, you know, are uh, incurred from our actions. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Uh, things are going to be obviously a lot more epic um, and some interesting new characters with Jekyll and Hyde coming on board. Um, can you tell us anything about uh, what's happening for Dr. Will? Um, is he going to develop superpowers at some point? Uh, aside from his unbelievable uh, intelligence, which in a way is a superpower, uh, no, not 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 as such. But um, we are going to see we're going to see Will sort of uh, be saddled with with the the job and 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 it kind of get a glimpse of what it's like to be in Magnus's shoes and and, and the weight of the sanctuary on his shoulders for a little bit this year. Um, we're gonna see. We're gonna delve into the past. We, we've done a very, very awesome episode, um, which kind of broke the budget, and it was like the, the biggest, the biggest episode of Sanctuary we've ever done to date. And uh, it's it sort of delves into the past, and we see Magnus's past and, and, and some of the five, and, and how they've had an impact on on world history. Uh, but in that episode as well. Um, we, we, we get a glimpse of Will's past indirectly. Uh, it's kind of difficult for it's difficult for me to sit here and talk to you about it because there's so many things I can't really I can't really go into and I can't really go into much detail and it's it's I know it must be frustrating. It's frustrating frustrating for me to sort of kind of speak in these roundabout politician tones. Uh, but it's it's very cool. Um, very very great uh, unbelievable episode we did this year. Um, and uh, I think I think it's really going to blow the fans away. We do have wicked new villain coming in this year, and I think I really think he's a character that you're going to love to hate um, in, in in sort of the the class of like a Hannibal Lecter or the Smoking Man from the X Files. You know that 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 great villain, and and coming in and out throughout the season, and, and even just now, where you know we're we're still dealing with with the repercussions of his actions uh, as we shoot episode twenty. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, like, epic is, to use your word epic is, is, is very, is very uh, a correct word to describe this season. You know, there's, a, there's, there's some, some romance this year. We have uh, some hookups and some breakups and, you know, we're, we're, not, we're not going into 90210 sort of zone, but uh, there definitely is, there is going to be some romance and, and some, some heartbreak. Which never, you know, that never hurts anyone. That kind of stuff. Um, Chris Gautier is going to uh, come back and, and reprise his role, uh, and just very funny. What a, what an awesome actor he is! So we do we do have some humor there. Some new characters. You're going to see some uh, familiar faces from from the sanctuary, the 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 sci-fi, the S Y F Y 
family uh, come into the show and, and uh, some, a little bit of crossover, which is which is cool as well. So yeah, it's 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 unbelievable the difference between thirteen and twenty, and sort of the the scope, the, the depth of the show get get bigger this year. I, I kind of I describe it like a, a jigsaw puzzle more of a jigsaw puzzle this year things kind of coming into place throughout the season and, and you know you're not going to be able to see exactly what's happening until you know halfway through and you go oh so we put that piece in there and go oh god okay this is where it's going um, it's not a show that's ever going to kind of take you by the hand and lead you through and, and sort of spoon feed you through an episode uh, you're always going to be kind of going whoa hey wait where are we is this like kind of? It's kind of always going to take you off guard, and I think that's that's the the intriguing thing about it. Even for me as an actor, when I pick up a new script, very exciting uh, episode <laughs> this year. We do uh, we do an episode where it's entirely from Will's point of view. So we had this kind of. It, I think it literally was a bike helmet, a bicycle helmet. Uh, with a camera kind of screwed onto it and all these wires coming out the back of it and and uh, Will's infected by this thing and, and the entire episode is basically shot like I, I you know I sh basically shot the episode from you know with the camera sitting on my head and and uh, all the other actors are looking at me basically looking down the, the, the barrel of the of the camera and you know that's another episode where you just take the storytelling and, and turn it on its ear and it's uh, you know when I read the episode I was like God I, I doesn't like, I can't really see this I, I wonder if this is really going to work but I you know I just just recently saw a cut of it and it's it's really very uh, amazing episode and, and again that's another way you know not only with with the storytelling on Sanctuary do we kind of turn things on the rear but also taking the technology and and trying to figure out different ways to tell the stories and yeah man it's uh, it's it's you know epic. Epic is a good word. Epic is a is I think the word of the day. You're a consummate professional with years. Wow, of oh, oof, that's <laughs> you know, I think I'm a consummate something. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if professional would be the word, but yeah, okay, go. Let's let's go with that. Let's go with it. Uh, well, yeah. um, uh, I have it on good authority that um, if there's going to be a problem uh, on set, that um, you will be directly responsible for it. Wow. That is that is harsh. I, I, it sounds like I've been judged in absentia here. I don't really. Uh, okay. I, it seems that way. Look, it's it's just I'm I'm merely reporting what other people are saying. Is that uh, uh, basically if there's a delay, saying, if if somebody is cracking up uh, on camera um, in an unprofessional manner, that there's quite possibly that Robin Dunn will be um, behind it. Could you perhaps confess on on camera to your fans that uh, you are in fact the person behind the shenanigans on Sanctuary? Well, I mean, if 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 by shenanigans you mean making completely inappropriate comments to my fellow actors while it's their close up, uh, to removing parts of my clothing uh, during scenes. I mean, shenan I mean, shenanigans covers a large ground, uh, but yes, uh, you know, there is a lot of giggling and laughing on set. Not much of it is done by me. I, I, I am, as you say, your words, a consummate professional, and and, and I, I don't laugh a lot. Uh, Amanda tapping, on the other hand, wow, you know, once she gets going, uh, it's not hard to get her going, and, and um, you know... Once she gets going, it's uh, she. She is the giggler. She she is you know if she was a, she were a superhero. Her name would be the giggler because she does kind of go there a lot. And we do have to sometimes explain to our guests who come to set, you know, our our guest actors and you know, people that uh, you know they, they need to be prepared for a, uh, you know, sanctuary. Sanctuary is is maybe maybe the name sanctuary is maybe it's maybe it's like a sort of not not a well named show. Maybe we should be called the asylum. <laughs> Uh, the, the lunatics running the asylum because that's uh, that's generally how things that run around here and, and uh, you know and if, if if I'm if I'm up there if I'm up there amongst the lunatics if I'm one of the, the sort of the ringleaders I, I wear that with pride you know you have to stick you have to go with what you're good at at this moment in time I'm not wearing pants I'm not um, actually wearing pants right now well you no, know it's it's obviously pants pants, pants free Wednesday um, awkward that just got awkward <laughs> Yeah, 
It is Wednesday. I mean, yeah. How did losing Clara affects, affect Will's view of the Sanctuary Network? I, I think it was the first time that the gravity of, of, of what... I don't know if even gravity is right, but sort of the, the, the seriousness of, of the choice he made to come and and pursue this life was and hit him. I mean, in the first season, we there was there was Meg uh, and kind of the air on it. And I, I think with, with what happened with with Clara, it was like you know you've chosen a path that really I think is right for him. I think Will is really in the right place, in the perfect place that he needs to be. I think his position as Magnus's number two, if you will, I guess, um, is really a comfortable place for him. I think he has a lot of respect for her job. I don't think he uh, wants or, or is would be prepared to take her job. He would if he had to. But but I think being being her sort of sidekick is, is a, a really good place for him to be in. But it's also, uh, there's are, there are enormous sacrifices that come along with, with accepting this responsibility and, and being a part of the team in the sanctuary. And one of those is giving up other parts of, of a normal life, of, of having normal relationships or, or a social life or any of these things. And, and I think in that moment, uh, of losing Clara, we we really saw that, and and he he really realized that. You guys are airing tonight, right? This is, yep. this is your, your yes. the first episode of of season three airs for you tonight. So you will see tonight um, that that mantle of of you know the responsibility that he accepts. I mean, Will's a guy who he's he's never going to go things half measure. You know, uh, he's in and he's he's going to go all the way. And I think you, you're you're going to see that tonight, like in specifically in this episode where he goes, look. I'm on the team, and I need I need to. It's it's this is bigger than just me. I need to I need to do something here, and uh, you know, it's scary. But but uh, what other choice do I have? And I think that is what I I really like about the character is is a guy who's just, you know, let's go, let's let's do it, and and let's not waste time being scared, or he is scared, <laughs> but let's not waste time uh, thinking about it and sort of dive in. With, uh, being the refuse of the cops to being a guy who hangs out with. Um the Indian goddess of destruction. Um, you know, that's that's yeah. got to be a leap. <laughs> yeah. She liked me, and, you know, <laughs> what have I got to do? You know? I've got to go with it, don't I? Because, you know, beautiful woman, whatever, you know, can't get enough of me, you know? Happens to me all the time, you know? It's, um, it's, it's part of my, you know, it's like being in poetry, you know? But, you know, we all have our cross to bear. That, that storyline, if you like, of, of the gods coming into the Sanctuary Network looks like something that could be picked up in Season 3. Uh, can you confirm or deny? I can uh, both confirm and deny. Uh, uh, let me tell you, uh, I'll both, <laughs> both confirm and deny. Um, it depends on what your definition of is is. Uh, yes, I can. I think I can confirm that. I think. I think. How about that for a sentence? I think, perhaps, I could possibly confirm that. I mean, that Bollywood episode was was crazy. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I, I I still honestly. I mean, it, so, it sounds like a, a, a lie, but I, I will tell you. I honestly don't remember doing it really. I rem It was so hot that day, and and um, you know, even Martin Wood. Who was our one of our executive producers and our our, our our main director here in Sanctuary? He he had his iPhone out and he he said, "Okay, everybody." He said, uh, "He stood up on the thing." He said, "Okay, so everybody, you know, it's uh, forty two degrees Celsius in in Mumbai right now, and it's forty four here in Vancouver. So it's you know we had the Indian weather. So I don't know. There was a combination of that and being just totally freaked out. I I, uh, I don't really remember it uh, very much, but um, you know. Uh, that's that's how it goes on Sanctuary. I, I love Australia. I've been to uh, Sydney and, I, and I, I've been up to the up to the Whitsundays and, and Hamilton Island and Hayman Island and uh, yeah, I, I I I love it over there and and uh, I'd love to go back. I'd love to see uh, Melbourne. Um, you know, Damien Kindler 
is, is, uh, is actually born there. Um, actually, his nickname is, is Ozzy because he actually has an Australian passport. Um, but I'd love, yeah, I'd, I'd love, I love Sydney and I, I loved, uh, you know, being on vacation there, but I'd love to see Melbourne. Uh, I understand there's sort of, I'm, I'm from Toronto, so that's my hometown. And I, I understand there's kind of similarities to the two cities and, and, um, I'd love to go across the Perth. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to plan another trip there soon. Um, but yeah, what a, what a, what a great country. And, and, you know, we're, we're really excited to, to be on there and, and, uh, you know, we, we, we can't wait to, to hear what you guys think of the season three. And 